CBS News Elections and Surveys Director Anthony Salvanto and his team were in the field with a presidential survey when the indictment news broke and were able to include questions to determine the impact of the charges against former President Trump. Anthony, it's good to have you here. What's the reaction been? Morning, John. Start with Republican primary voters, because we're in the heat of this campaign. They say it does not matter. They expressly say that this will not change their views. And maybe that doesn't surprise. They've been with Donald Trump for years. But what's interesting is the why. When you ask if they're more concerned that this is politically motivated or if there's a national security risk, they come down heavily on the politically motivated side. That's 76 percent of them saying that. And, you know, what's interesting about this is you juxtapose that against the broader public, who is much more split. And in many cases, the public says it, these aren't mutually exclusive. It can be in part both. But the Republican primary voter, Donald Trump is still on top, and this hasn't changed anything. And the, the, the general election voter, so the Republican Party primary voter overwhelmingly, but when you mix it all together, the majority believes what of the country? So if you take out just the potential national security risk and right. you ask people, is this one? Well, you get this big number among the public that says, yes, it is. Yes, it is a national yes, security risk. Yes, it is a risk. national security risk, if true. If, in fact, as alleged, right. there were nuclear plans or military plans in these documents. That's at 69 percent. But you want to see that in comparison to the Republican primary voter, for whom that number is much lower. Sure. It's at 38 percent. So it's that difference that I think is essential to understanding why you're going to see the rhetoric on the Republican side, on the campaign trail, that's talking about what they say is political motivation as opposed to national security right. risk. So what happens if the president is actually convicted? So if you look ahead to that possibility, we ask, would that be disqualifying for him to be able to serve a second term if elected for one. Um, Republican primary voters overwhelmingly say, no, that's not disqualifying. He ought to still be able to serve. And they're at 8 and 10 on that. But the public is majority saying he cannot. So, look, you get through the primaries and you wonder about general election implications here. That difference is going to matter. But for now, for Republicans, it is not disqualifying. And finally, a question of history. We all remember the lock her up chance from the 2016 campaign from Donald Trump's supporters at rallies. What did the survey show then about the way Republican primary voters thought about the allegations that Hillary Clinton had misused uh, classified data? Well, back in the summer of 2016, our polling showed that Republicans overwhelmingly thought that what they thought she did was wrong and was even illegal. OK, now, look, that may have ultimately had electoral implications for her as well. But I think the takeaway from that comparison is that sometimes when the public makes up its mind, it's often politics first. It's who is doing something as opposed to the abstract of what may have happened. And Anthony will have more discussion about politics later in our broadcast with our political panel, where we'll talk about the state of the race. We'll be right back with a lot more Face the Nation. Stay with us.